Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Bailey, and I'm a fellow of the Academy. I am joined today by Anna Bedwell, who is also a fellow of the Academy, a fellow of the Optometric Retina Society, and clinical associate professor and director of residencies at Indiana University School of Optometry in Bloomington, Indiana. Hi, Anna. Hi. I am glad that you're here with me today because we are going to be talking about AMD, specifically this paper, which is titled Correlation Between Hyperreflective Foci and Visual Function Testing in Eyes with Intermediate Age-Related Macular Degeneration. And this paper was published by Lou and colleagues in the April 2023 issue of International Journal of Retina and Vitreous. This retrospective cross-sectional study aimed to investigate the relationship between intraretinal hyperreflective foci and visual function in patients with intermediate AMD. So Anna, what are hyperreflective foci and why are they important in AMD? Excellent question. Uh, so hyperreflective foci, as the name implies, are, are hyperreflective um, dots that you see on OCT. They've been a recognized biomarker um, in the sense of a, a marker that pretends a, a higher risk for advanced AMD, particularly uh, geographic atrophy. So the classification of atrophy meeting, um, a group of experts got together and looked at imaging features in eyes with uh, uh, AMD that developed GA and hyperreflective foci were one of these markers that were was emphasized. Um, specifically, you know, they're found in almost a half of intermediate AMD eyes, but those that have them have about a five times higher risk of developing GA uh, in in two years based on an AREDS two ancillary study. So, uh, why they're important to us is is we know that they have a higher risk for GA development. What did the results of the study show? So this particular study was looking at not the risk, but the actual visual function. So we know in uh, intermediate AMD eyes that even though they have a particularly good visual acuity, they might struggle in other aspects uh, of their vision, uh, the, the non-traditional aspects that we don't routinely check. Uh, so this looked at intermediate AMD eyes, uh, all eyes that had um, no CNV present or no other uh, biomarkers like Irora, Cerora, uh, and uh, there was a group that had hyperreflective foci and a group that uh, did not have hyperreflective foci. So what they found is uh, those that had the hyperreflective foci, whether it was a small number or quite a uh, quite a few, uh, they had poorer levels of of low luminance visual acuity, poor quantitative contrast sensitivity function um, in normal conditions and low luminance and mesopic uh, microperimetry was reduced. So overall, um, point in two that those that have hyperreflective foci and in, in intermediate AMD have, have poorer cone function than our other intermediate AMD counterparts. So what do the study results mean for the management of AMD? I, I think, you know, what it is saying is in addition to the, the fact that we know that these markers mean that they're more at risk for advanced disease, they're already showing that they have more advanced loss in terms of the visual function. So these eyes with more biomarkers like the hyperreflective foci are already showing um, a more advanced disease process. Uh, I think in terms of management too, that means they might have uh, more visual impairment that, that we need to be um, better recognizing. Why does this study matter to optometrists? Uh, particularly in 
recognizing that that uh, their visual function may be affected, uh, whether these patients need low, vis low vision services at an earlier stage. I think we tend to look at, um, with our AMD folks, those that have advanced disease as needing needing additional service, um, whether that's GA or or uh, wet AMD, um, but even those that have intermediate AMD may have some visual function impairment that we need to recognize. And if we're seeing those biomarkers, we know within that group of intermediate AMD that their prognosis and their their function is worse. Understood. And I thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me about this today. Thank you. It was a pleasure.